too. I'm happy to see both of you. The last time you were here, I was not here. You were here hosting with your mom. Yeah, I liked it. I had a great time. Yes. And uh, and how have you been, sir? I've been great. Yeah? I've been great. Good. I've been hanging with my sissy, doing our podcast. I know. That's Trying fantastic. to raise three children, trying. You both have three word. children, right? Yeah. He, like, raises children really easily. This is what I do. It's his best. It's I his best work. Just kids. <laughs> it's your best work. <laughs> he's he's the best it. dad. Are they the same ages? How old are your kids? My, I had the first one, so it's right. Ryder, then Wilder. Right. Then oh, they're my babies. Then, That's Wilder, Rio, and Bodie. And then, uh, and then Bodie, and then Bing, and then Rio, and then Ronnie. Right. And this is your new one. My oh, new look, one, look, yeah. This is such yeah. a great picture. Oh, I, love I know. It so much. Look at all of these. Yeah, so we had two boys and a together. girl. It's kind of weird, actually. Yeah, we both had two boys. It's I very strange that y'all have the same. But this new little child of yours. Mm. Oh, Ronnie. Now, come on. Oh, stop. Oh, no, stop. <laughs> 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 yeah, she is. Oh, she's um. so funny. She's so deeply funny. I actually think. She's got the funny gene because she looks like it. She loves jewelry, and and so if you're wearing like any kind of necklace, she goes ah off. So you have to take it off because mm -hmm. she wears it. Oh wow, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. a little, it's she's a little feminine, concerning. but tough. Yeah, she's she's not. She's, she she's, she's gonna hold her own. You know, she, yeah, I mean, she she's likes tough. the she's, girly things, yeah. but, but she demands like, them from you. Right, right. right. <laughs> right. Off. off, but off. she's like a, shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> that's so adorable. It's that's so great. You, that's great. Congratulations. Now, will you keep having children until one of you wins? No. <laughs> Is, I, have, I have a feeling I'm probably going to end up winning. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, done. I'm so I don't, done. I don't know if I'm done yet. I'm in that place of like, right now, right. Ronnie's at the age where you're like, Sweet I want spot. another baby. Yeah. But once she gets like four, you're like, ooh, four or five. Like, I feel like my life is kind of back a little bit. They're yeah. kind of in a groove. I understand. Yeah. Does anybody, do you guys know what I'm talking about a little bit? Well, yeah. It's like a weird, there's like a window. Yeah, my window is, is never wanted, <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> the window has never been open for one at all. Maybe and you've never had a window. Never had. I haven't had a window, but yeah. I do think they're adorable, and so I like many playing. Windows. Yeah, playing with children is fun. Yeah. And then uh, bye bye. No, I know. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Now, now it's just uh, interesting. So you, you both are very similar. Obviously, you have kids, three kids, three mm -hmm. kids. Yeah. Um, and you're both in the business. Yeah. Is, is this something you both knew growing up, just because you had parents that were actors, that you both would go into this? I think no. So, I mean, well, I no. knew. She, I never thought I'd ever do anything else. I, w I feel like I was just born like that's exact. I just that's what there I. There was no do. knowing. With Kate, mm -hmm. it just was. Yeah, she came out of the womb performing, <laughs> song and dance, and you know, hey, look at me, and I was <laughs> like Ethel wow. Merman. Yeah, yeah. Ethel yeah. Merman. <laughs> she <laughs> came out as Ethel Merman. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello, hello world. My <laughs> kind of. I mean, but it, it drove me crazy. I uh, mean. This is why our relationship as yeah. children was not very great because but the, I. But the was, answer to the question is, you didn't have. That's no, I didn't. Not, you were like freestyling. That you kind of grew up. Well, that I'm, was your. That was your like creative. This outlet. is not what I was hoping to do in my life is become like a professional freestyler. But it was something but that I. It, I liked. You would have been great I at made it. movies. I like to make movies. Yes. You know what I mean? Like she was acting and doing her thing. I Ollie was making movies was like, and this, freestyling. This feels like it's like easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I'll it, go on a couple auditions. I'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. You know? And see, then, it worked out. And then you it fell did. in love with it. It did. But what do you mean? This is Y'all hung out when you were younger, right? Were you close? Oh, you oh, were yeah, yeah. super close. We well, were super close, but as we got older and we got into our party years, things started to get a little We got yeah, a little once, closer. Yeah, once we were old enough to like each other's friends, things were real yeah, good. Yeah, and we used to throw crazy huge parties well, that were over. We've got to set it up because it was before, before we were, like, we we were naughty when our parents would leave town, and we always had like parties. Right, we had crazy. Yes, mom we did. would sort of find out about it. If a lamp was broken, it was like a real like it was it was not good. Oh my god, I broke a lamp once. I broke a lamp <laughs> on Memorial good. Day weekend. It shattered into a billion pieces, and I think right now, if she is listening, I'm sorry because I have not told you about this. She yet. still thinks like a dog. Right, she still thinks a dog. One of the dogs. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> But, but, 
What I'm trying to say is, as we got a little bit older and like started having fun with our parents, then we kind of, our, our parents came to our parties at their house. Right. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So we'd throw the party and my parents would just show up. Mm -hmm. um, but Kate would anyway, invite the industry people I was... and I would invite the riffraff. Oliver, okay, Oliver. And she would always get pissed off at me because she's like, who is coming to these parties and who is Jose Hernandez and who's Charlie Chardoff and who, who are all these people? And that's when she made Ethel Merman again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they here? Why are they here? Who are all these? They oh. need to but, go home. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. wait. <laughs> Wait, we have to take a break. Okay. Because okay. Are you no, getting confused? No, I'm okay. never. I just, I just um, want to make sure. No, I, I understand what's happening. He brought the riffraff, you brought the industry people. What well, am I confused it was about? A little, okay. Well, no, I have to take a break. Okay. You can't. We'll talk you about can't. <laughs> don't suck me again. It, it, <laughs> suck, but, don't suck me in again. <laughs> Alan, I believe this you were supposed to tell people that. Right. <laughs> don't suck me into your story again. <laughs> We'll be back. <laughs> We're back with Kate and Oliver Hudson. And uh, okay, so finish I have the to story. Tell the story. Basically, it went like, like I was always just wanting to make sure everything worked out okay. It's kind of like how we are in our podcast. Like I just want to make sure it's a little bit more organized and that it's not too crazy. Oliver's like, let it get crazy. It's fine. So I'm like standing at the door making sure that people who aren't supposed to be at the party aren't coming in. There's like 400 people in my parents' house. And I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. You know, the control freak in me is like, this is not okay. And I see someone scaling, <laughs> literally scaling an eight foot gate at my parents' house. And I'm going, I'm freaking out. I'm like, this person, and I see this, and they come off and they like do like a back handspring thing. Pulls down, I'm like about to yell at this guy. And it's Tom Cruise. <laughs> 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 and I was like, oh. I didn't realize you were coming to our party. He's like, I wasn't invited. He's like, I heard there was a party. I'm like, uh, yeah, Tom, come on in. Wow. Um, so, you know. So that's how he gets around everywhere. Yeah, but you he just scales things. Yes, he, he is Mission he Impossible. Sure. Wow. But it was wild. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. It so, was an eight. Yeah. By the way, though, at the end of the night, Tom Cruise and Jose Hernandez were having the greatest conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that is well, true. That is true. <laughs> Tom Cruise is a friendly man, and he's interested in a lot of people. So. Right. I think Jose yeah. Hernandez also ended up the one sleeping in the bushes that night. Yeah, he did. Yeah, we woke up, and he was in one of Mom's rugs. Oh, and Mom, oh my God, Mom woke up, and she goes, who is sleeping in my rug <laughs> on the outside? She's at the too, mean, I guess. What do you mean, in a rug? What, do you roll up in a rug and sleep? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's Sibling Revelry. Explain what, what you're doing here. Um, we have never done anything together creatively, and this was a great opportunity for us to sort of explore the sibling dynamic, you know, and we wanted to be candid with our relationship, and honestly, it's been amazing even just for us, and uh, bringing on celebrities and their siblings to sort of gain different perspectives. It's a very important relationship that we think is sort of underexplored, yeah. honestly. And, yeah. and it's funny, because even we're kind of learning so much about it as we go, whether it's each other, other people. I think it doesn't matter. It's funny, because we, we, we think we know people, but when you hear about them from their siblings' perspective, you get a completely different feeling about who they are, yeah. where they come from. And, yeah. and we didn't realize the, like, we, ourselves how much fun it would be for us. I think it's been kind of one of the most rewarding things. I Honestly, know, I yeah, for me, you know, it's been the most profound thing that I've done creatively. I know that sounds crazy, but it, it's just the truth. You know, working with Kate and being able to sort of talk about our relationship candidly, for some crazy reason, when the mic is in front of my face, I'm, I'm able to be more vulnerable and say more. I don't know why. That's, That's fantastic. Been really fun. And I love that you love it so much. That's really I love great. it so much. It's All right. Great. Sibling Revelry is available on Apple, Spotify, Google, or wherever you listen to podcasts. So why'd I list those? And anywhere. <laughs> there, it's, 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 <laughs> it, it's everywhere. Um, we're going to play a game with Kate and Oliver later in the show. We'll be right back.